Welcome guys to this new video of TechPress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to find a target audience into Facebook ads. So Facebook ads offer powerful targeting options that allow you to reach the right people for your business. So understanding your target audience is crucial for maximizing your ad spend and achieve better results. So the first thing you want to do is to define your ideal customers. So you want to start by defining your ideal customers. So you want to consider the demographics such as the age, the gender, location, language, and interest. So you can create a detailed customer avatar that represents your target audience. This can help you understand who you're trying to reach and tailor your ads accordingly. For this particular tutorial, I'm going to be using a store that we currently have into Shopify. And in this story, what I wanted to do is to start by running some Facebook ads. But first of all, I need to understand which is the potential customers that I would like to target when I create an ad and I can optimize the best results with low budget. So I'm going to own the start my online store. As you can see, we have something really easy. In this case, we have a store that focuses to and to print on demand products. So usually what I do is to open a new tab and look out for Google Trends. Now, Google Trends is an amazing place where you can look out for weekly trackers provided based on Google Trends search data. So really important, first of all, to locate where you want to get started. Uh, in my case, I'm gonna start with the country I'm currently living. So in here, into the upper side, let's go for Mexico. And here, let's go for Explore. And here into Explore, you can see what people are searching right now into Mexico. So if I can focus on that, then I can look out for a search term. In my case, let's say that I go and look out for geometric uh, clothes or clothes like this. So here you can see they have different terms, for example, Painter Magic, um, Andrew Electric, Cafe Nights, and all of that. If I clicked into geometric clothes, I think that I not might be having enough information into Mexico City. So for example, only 100% of people are looking about uh, geometric clothes. So if I change this from Mexico into worldwide, and into the past months, people are interested in the United Kingdom, Australia, United States, Canada, and India. I can look out for more geometric designs, for example, related queries. And here I have a little bit more information of what I'm looking for. So instead of the past 12 months, let's go for the past 30 days. So in here, I have my potential audience that are more likely to buy this kind of products, which are people from Philippines, India, Australia, Ghana, and United States. So I'm going to take this in mind in order to add them directly inside my Ads Manager. So let's go back into Ads Manager. Of course, I'm going to leave you a link to down below in the description, guys, if you don't have your actual Ads Manager section. So in my case, I'm going to sign in directly into my ad account. Let's go into Ads Manager. And inside Ads Manager, it's going to be really important that you have currently an active account in order to start your campaign. So I'm going to go for create an actual campaign. And here, what you want to do is to start by using the Facebook Audience Insight. So you can use Facebook Audience Insight tool to gather data about your potential audience. So if you already have looked out, you have created a few elements, we can of course check out the trending elements. But in this case, let's go and look out for traffic. I'm going to head into continue. Usually I get started with recommended settings because these pre-seed campaigns optimization can help meet my goals. And of course, we can just save a little bit of money when it comes to creating my very first tag. Now, if I go into my new traffic ad set, scrolling a little bit down, we do have these location elements and the audience control. So into location, let's go for edit. And I want to look out for the countries I do have available in here. For example, here I'd have Philippines, India, Australia, and Ghana. So let's just unselect Mexico. Now, if you focus into the right side, you can see that we have a audience definition. The audience definition is going to be helping me to understand how many people I am actually targeting. Order definition. If I open more options, for example, the minimum age, let's go for 18. So you can see we are narrowing our audience. There was a really huge specific audience, but now we have an estimate for and fairly broad. So my estimate daily results are from 8 thousand to twenty four thousand so into one of these campaigns i can go and check out and view my charts 
the charts can be helpful me to understand what kind of people have already checked out my ads and I can create some looked along audience so I can try to retarget this kind of uh, in this case customers and here into tracking, I wanted to choose my Metapixel active. If you don't have a Metapixel asset, you want to go into the Events Manager. Here into the Events Manager, what you can do is to create a pixel, and then you can install a pixel into a specific website so you can track the composites for people who are checking out your website. And lastly, you want to regularly analyze your ad performance to understand how well your audience is responding, guys. And that is how you can find and target your audience into Facebook ads into 2024. The best application that I can, uh, let's say, recommend to you is Google Trends. Here into Google Trends, you might be having like an estimate of how people are more likely to interact into your website, into a post, whatever. So that is it for today's guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope this tutorial helps you reach the right people and achieve your advertising goals. Uh, thank you for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And well, have lots of fun and see you next time.